Since we have done a ton of videos on notability already, and we always seem to have so much to discuss as far as notability is concerned, I thought, let's share with Ginger Labs our notabilities wishlist for 2020. How's that? Hey guys, it's Rob Sipak with Paperless X, a channel that is all about digital productivity for everyone that has ever needed paper for their work and studies. If you're new to my channel, hello. Make sure you subscribe if you're looking for solutions to go paperless. And if you're already subscribed, make sure you turn on your notifications so you know when I release a new video. Let's show some love for our developers by sharing our grievances with them in one video. If you have an application in mind that you want us to do this for, let us know in the comment section down below. Before we start, Notability released a minor update on the 19th of January, which they updated again on the 29th. Let's look at that update first, at least so we know what to scratch off our wish list. The first thing I noticed with the update is that you can now export your notes as images. We can now export our notes as JPEG or PNG notes. If I save these notes to my photos app, the application recognizes that my notes has two pages. But when I export to GoodNotes 5, it's only exporting one page which is the first page. Uh, I tried this in OneNote and it exported all my pages, my two pages. So there's some inconsistencies that I'm sure will be ironed out soon. Still on images, you can now add multiple images to your notes all at once. Simply tap on as many images as you need. And once you've added all the images you need, you can then just drag them around and put them where you want them on the page. I never thought this could ever be something I need, but I see now that I actually do need it. Now that they've added it, it's like, hmm, I could use that feature. These pink guidelines that come up when you're trying to organize your images is very useful in the application. And I've never really mentioned or talked about it. So I thought we'd just take a second to appreciate them. These guidelines are very useful. I love how Notability does stuff without dedicated icons. Their approach to minimalism is amazing. It's always been one of my favorite features. In Notability, you can create as many shapes as possible without a dedicated um, icon for that. And now, with the same approach, you can now erase just the highlighter without any dedicated settings for that. If you want to erase some highlights from a highlighted section, select the option to erase per stroke. The first stroke your eraser makes will automatically erase just the highlighter only. And then the second stroke will erase the ink. This doesn't work with the eraser that erases per pixel. It only works with the stroke eraser. The application now has the option to scan documents as images. After you finish scanning your pages or scanning your documents, um, you then have an option to import them as a PDF or as an image. I can see how that can be useful. Random announcement before we jump into our wish list for 2020. I finally have footage for my first vlog for Patreon. I am currently compiling it at the moment. If you like this channel and you want to support it, then make sure you sign up for the vlogs that I'll be posting on Patreon for $5 a month. You guys will get to see what I get up to during my days. If you're interested in the people behind Paperless X, of which our team is growing and the number of people working on these videos is increasing. Most of you guys have been wanting me to do a face reveal. I might do that on Patreon, but the more content I shoot, the more I realize how shy I am. Um, So if you were going to sign up on Patreon to see my face, it's probably not going to happen for a while. And probably when it does happen, I'm not going to talk about it because I want to separate the content I create on Paperless X and on Paperless Student, it will strictly be on going paperless. And for behind the scenes and just getting to know Ropsy and the team, those will be on Patreon. And so what happens on Patreon stays on Patreon. Please note that the content on Patreon will not affect the content on this channel and that I will continue to upload as usual. And we will continue on this journey to explore paperless solutions for everyone. Because Ropsy is such a diligent human being, I compiled all the data from the question I posted on our community page about a month ago. Some of you guys responded and this is the information I compiled to make this wish list. So essentially this is not my wish list, this is your wish list. I went through all of those comments and I compiled and collected all the votes from the different comments and I've organized our wish list from obviously the one with the highest votes will be the first one I'll talk about. Yeah, and as usual, Ropsy being who she is, I have an opinion to share about almost every feature you guys are requesting. 
the most requested feature is better organization most of you guys want notability to adopt a folders within folders organization system personally i don't find a problem with notability's simpler organization approach and it's come to my attention that i might not be the only one that prefers this minimalist approach but your votes have spoken notability must add more organization options for us if you like simple organization then just use simple organization in a complicated system and this is by far the most requested feature on number two we have page rotation i would have thought that this would be the most requested feature because this is one feature that i'm always complaining about let's just say that physically turning our ipads to write notes in landscape is not fun anymore it's a bit primitive and only god knows why i'm still using notability this annoys me so much it makes me cringe every time i have to do this on number three we the option to save favorite pens for easier switching between tools apparently this is not simple enough the setup that they have in notability the fixed sizes and fixed colors are not enough for some people in my opinion i think this will just make the application bulky notability is a minimalist app and adding this feature will just ruin the essence of the application in my opinion on number four, the ability to save our own page templates in the templates library. It is very important we have the ability to save our own templates in the application. It's also important that we have the ability to have different page templates within one notebook and also have different page sizes. In a nutshell, Notability really has a lot of work to do as far as page customization and interactions are concerned. Multiple page selection in a note-taking application is very basic and Notability still doesn't have that. Personally, if i was to pick one important feature that notability really needs to work on i would say they need to work on their page customization and how we interact with pages in the application on number five renaming audio recordings it seems a lot of people want to do more than just record audio i thought syncing notes to audio was the best way to name in quotes our recordings the ability to rename our audio recordings in notability would just mean more work after recording you have to go and do extra work by naming your audio files yeah i don't really see how that's going to be useful we already have a way to catalog our audio files in notability speaking of audio recording anyone seen some changes in the playback after the update that notability released um the animation has changed and my handwriting is no longer writing itself um it's just appearing on the page and i'm freaking out because i love this feature this is my favorite feature from notability and now the application is not animating my notes and it's no longer making me happy and excited which is affecting my mood and who i am in general and so yeah please give me feedback i hope that this is a bug on my ipad and that it's not a change in how notability audio playback works because this would just make me sad on number six we have multitasking since ipad os the note switcher is simply not enough anymore we want more from notability on this one support for multiple instances is a necessity now number seven automatic switching from eraser to pen yeah this can be useful Number eight, easily accessible redo button. I thought gestures were faster. No. The three finger gestures, swiping to the right to redo, works. And I think that now we have that. I don't really know why this is useful, but you'll want an icon. So, okay. A lot of applications do have that. So, I understand why a lot of people would want it. Number nine, improved hyperlink interactions. Yes, this definitely needs some work. Notability needs to find a way to deactivate hyperlinks when writing on hyperlinked PDFs. It's really annoying when you accidentally activate hyperlinks when you don't want to use them. And this is really time consuming. It really does slow you down on your work. Notability users are requesting the ability to create hyperlinks in the application. This is really becoming standard now. A lot of applications are offering options to create hyperlinks within the applications. This would really improve navigating in Notability. I have to use PDF Expert and Zoom Notes for this and it's really unpleasant to create my final study notes in Notability and then exporting them as a PDF to PDF Expert or Zoom Notes and then creating my hyperlinks in those applications. So if we could just do all of this in just Notability, I will be quite happy with that. On number 10, support for multiple platforms. A Windows and Android version for the application would be great. And this will just make sure that people are not limited to just using one type of device to enjoy the application. And I think that will be quite decent. This will also mean that Notability will have to look into other options to sync notes via not just iCloud, but other cloud services as well. Uh, one of you guys suggested Dropbox. 
Who am I to disagree? I think Dropbox would actually be a very good option for syncing notes for notability. On number 11, we have True Dark Mode. But of course, it is necessary. On number 12, Lasso Tool Selection Options. Notability selectively selects only your handwritten sections when you use the Lasso Tool. That level of discrimination is unacceptable in 2020. We really could use the Lasso Tool selecting everything on the page because this is really important when you want to create space um, to add some notes. It's really important for you to be able to just select everything and move it all at once than having to move individual sections in your notes. Number 13, we have improvements on PDF features. Technically, it's just not all PDF features, just one. It will be nice to see outlines in Notability. Not all PDF textbooks have hyperlinks, but most of them have outlines. Having an outline for PDFs will just improve how we work with PDFs in Notability. Number 14, bring back the in-app browser. According to the developers from Notability, they changed this because Apple changed their privacy policies. So far, it seems only Ginger Labs has responded to that. All the other developers from other applications are not listening. I'm just saying. Maybe Notability was affected because how they coded for the feature? Is that even a thing? Anyway, my point is Apple changed its policies and only Notability changed this thing because other applications are still offering in-app browsing. So I'm a bit confused, but it would be nice if they could bring it back, but they probably can't, but you guys want it anyway and you want them to know that. So I'm going to tell them. Number 15, OCR or handwriting recognition support for math equations. I personally find it easier to just write things. I would have a problem in an application that doesn't allow me to ink my equations. But if I was just going to write it, isn't it just simpler to write the equation in ink? Anyway, speaking of math equations, for those of you studying math, what applications are you using that I should check out? Because I am on a mission to find a convenient way to add math equations to applications. And if you guys know anything, you could really just help my search because I'm not a math major or anything. It's on my to-do list. It's been there for a while. So if you have any application and maths application that really works well with equations let me know number 16 adding more things to notes yes we definitely need the ability to add more things to our notes tables and videos um so yeah i would really love to have notability supporting the feature to add tables and on number 17, add a pencil tool. This is the last and final request, which I completely agree with. Please add a pencil tool. It would just make me a happy human being. Personally, I love pencils. I think the pencil tool always works better than the inking tools in all the note-taking applications that I've tried. And I'd like to see how Notability's pencil tool would look. And that brings me to the end of this video. I shall make a checklist to keep track of um, what they've done during this year. I'm definitely going to do that. And yeah, I might just send a copy to them too. And I would like to check this checklist at the end of the year. I hope you guys liked this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.